All right, in the bottom left, playing as Valder, we have Zeronix. Up against Psychoia in the top right, playing as Elodie. So, I don't know, how do you feel about this matchup? Well, um, so now, now the group of nations is over. I could talk about this a little bit. Um, Team France uh, did some amazing like stuff with uh, a bunch of maps and like Elodie and like this one in particular. Um, I, I was actually defeated in a practice match against a newer player um, that used Elodie. Uh, I think it was Devixel. I, I, not entirely sure. I, I, I say newer. They're, they're not that new, but. Uh, it, they, they, they kicked my butt. They like took me down with it, and I, I thought it was really scary. It was really cool. Um, I, I had a good reaction to it. I had like a good setup, a good opening, but um, I, I thought it was pretty scary. So I think Elodie can do some work here. Yeah, and yeah, Psycho and Devixel, obviously like teammates from Team France, and this was one of the matches that featured in Groove of Nations. So I'm. Curious to see how it's going to play out against like Zeronix, who is, I would say, like a bit of a higher caliber than you know a lot of the games that we were seeing in Groove Nations. No offense to anyone playing in Groove Nations, but uh, there's a there's more on the line in a Groove of War, and like people tend to take it a bit more seriously. So I'm curious to see what Zero can do here. Zero is one of those players that it's like everyone still thinks that they are one of the best or the best player, but they haven't actually won a tournament in a while. And I think part of it's because they're kind of very busy IRL. You really have to prep these maps to get to the end of a GOW tournament. Um, yeah, but although, still, it's like they've earned that reputation. Yeah, they still came fifth last event and they dropped into losers relatively early. So that was as high as they could place. So... I, I still think like they they've they're still like earning that reputation of being really good. Uh and ooh, I don't know how I feel about this dog attack from Zero actually having just bigged him up a lot. Like one sword will break it pretty easily and oh actually Elodie's gonna walk back and heal off this village. Uh I do feel like just trading a sword for a dog might be a good plan here, but no Zero's not gonna go. Or Sykora is not going to go for it. They're just going to leave that dog alive. One thing here is Zero isn't really going to the HQ. They're, they're, it looks like they're kind of making their way over to the right side. Yeah. And, oh, there might have been a lethal there. Like double dog suicide plus the night crit plus the swords. That might have actually done it. I don't think so. Six dog. That's like a little more than 10. I think Elodie would live there. Fair enough. Uh, oh, I guess like that also gives Elodie groove if it doesn't work out, so. Yeah, best not to go for that. Right, Elodie's gonna walk back, heal again. And it's like, oh, yeah, Elodie's just taking an absolute beating here, but. You know, commanders are cheap to heal, so. He's this is very Zero style. It's like, beat up the commander, push them back, fight! Zero's playstyle is very much characterized by aggression and traps and just like constantly attacking and moving around the board. It would make them very fun to watch. While yeah. Sequoia is kind of like the shenanigans master. Speaking of shenanigans, we've got a thief like up in the center with the balloon. Like we could see some kind of cool steel play coming out there. It's like, oh, over on this left hand side, they're just kind of shoving back a little bit. Using these spears. Zero just doesn't have any like power units on this left hand side right now. Like the harpy's just coming into play. The thing I'd love for these replays is if we could just like pause it and pull up statistics, like the odds of a lethal happening at any given moment. That is true. That would be cool. Like it, I would have really liked to have seen if that uh lethal on LD was even possible. Actually, if a mage shield dropped on those two dogs, for example, like that would have been 100% lethal. Uh, or at least I'm fairly sure of it. Because like both the dogs were lower defense, so the other two hits would do more damage. So 
but Alright, this is like actually so aggressive from zero in the center, right? But it's like completely safe. Can that thief go down? Uh oh, like in theory, like Elodie Oh wow. The sword crit from across the map using the balloon. Oh, that was so cool. Psychoi like with the big brain plays here. Here I am thinking of like Elodie stealing like the weak dog to hit or something, but no. It's like we're way more steps ahead of me in terms of like how to get good lethals on units. And that zero's thief gone. Like they just don't have one anymore. And Sakura like nice and safe in this boat over in the corner. It has one percent health. The dog almost got the kill on it. But Zero is pushing across the center of the map. They have three villages over the midline. That's got to be draining Sequoia's economy. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. One village. One village. I can't count. One village, not three. <laughs> yeah, and there was a thief steal that was successful in Sequoia's end, whereas Zero lost their thief. So this is looking pretty good from Sequoia. Why wow, even hitting... That's not you don't see very often, just like Night Crit runs in and smacks into a spear. But there's a golem to back it up and Elodie with Groove. Folder's on three right now. Yeah, but they can't walk back and throw a sword out, so. Isn't you just gotta bad. be careful with that. If Elodie like steals one of your units and sends it down to kill you. Yeah, but all right, Valder's healed up, which delays the groove by one turn, which is super important. Like, Valder just wants to be constantly churning out swords. That or just like you use Valder to get lethals every turn. Might right. slow my game down a little. I just want to see the economy. Okay, zero is 400 ahead, but it's Sekoi's turn. All right, yeah, Sekoi just going to heal it up. Ooh. Are we going to see? Oh, I know what we're going to see. Oh, that wasn't what I thought we were going to see. Never mind. What do you think we were going to see? Oh, actually, what I thought could happen wasn't actually possible. I thought, like, the 1% health sword could get cleared. And that the harpy would then crit the dragon, but no, hitting the knight's actually way better. Yeah, it's a very safe attack. There's nothing that can punish that harpy. Oh, dogs carry knights. Let's go. A knight at the bottom right. Finally surrounded. But... Oh, wow. Zero. Are they going to go for a lethal? I think they are. Is it going to work out? Oh, they get the clear. On two sides? Oh no. And yeah, this is going to be Night Crit to follow up plus Dog. Oh. And Zeronix. When they see a punish, they see a punish. And that's, that's a lethal. Good game. Only seven units were killed in the making of this game. Yeah, that was like a pretty long game with a lot of stuff going on, but nobody was like... I mean, a lot of stuff was hitting other stuff. People were just running back and healing, so just a lot of uh, trading blows, but not very much stuff actually dying. That's pretty incredible that only seven units died, though. Damn. It's worth mentioning that last time Zeronix and Sequoia met in a world tournament, they were pretty close. It was really hype because at the time, no one had been able to really rival Zeronix, and Sequoia almost beat them. Um, but I, th I think Zero took them out because Sequoia overextended their commander. But that was like the first game where people realized, yeah, Sequoia is like amazing, like Sneaky's been saying on their channel this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, because, like I mean, if you look back in history, like, Sequoia versus, like, Burke was Groove of War 4, and Sequoia lost to Burke. Um, and then Groove of War 5, Sequoia had that really great set against, like, 
Zero that you're talking about, and then Groove of War 6, like Sequoia. Places. Why you she can't was... make me say it. You can't make me say it. <laughs> uh, they came third, right? No, they came fourth. I got third. Oh. <laughs> and you can't make me say it. That's me. Right. You. <laughs> no, because no, you got fourth in the previous group of war, right? Yeah. Right. I always get that, those two mixed. Because I know you've gotten third and fourth. I just always forget which order they are. Right? Everybody's names are so similar. It does not help that everybody's name starts with the same letter. It's the law of S. Except Doom violated the law of S when they like destroyed me a few, like last week. <laughs> oh well, you just gotta do the the losers run. Uh, I'll try. And like even Zero has like a a letter that kind of looks a bit like an S. Yeah, no, Zero's on Team S. This is canon. But... Isn't that right, Sarat RTS? <laughs> Saronix. <laughs> Sarah RTS. Oh, uh, my name backwards starts with an S, so you know. Nobody expected that one. Alright, let's go to the uh, the next game.